Now, at the time, I lived in Koreatown. And Koreatown is, as Sweden is, everybody is so unhappy. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like this. <laughs> and, it, and, you know, the weird part is, yeah, I'm white. So, <laughs> well, you saw that. Oh, you're smart. Oh, awesome. Nice. And being in Koreatown, being white, I, I, you know, I'm oblivious to all this thinking and all this, you know, history and uh, racism and prejudice and preconceived thoughts. I'm not even there because I'm one love and, you know, unity. I'm Bob Marley in a white fucking shade and bald head. But people can't see that. So they call me gringo, of course. So I'm an American in this country. So in Koreatown, I wasn't well received. You know, you could go into a cafe and I wouldn't even be served. They totally just denied me, denied me. I could stand there for 10, 15 minutes. Just want a coffee, I don't want to go to work. <laughs> coffee, but they didn't even want to look at me, you know. And I couldn't get it. Because I'm Swedish, in my mind, you know, Swedish, Serbian, you know, coming from Smiley, La Malma, you know, I'm a fan with you, you know? <laughs> so, Koreatown is kind of special. <laughs> but I found a little great apartment, good price, and it was four blocks away to the next area, which was Mexico Town. And, and LA is really weird, because it's lines like these carpets right here. This is Mexico Town, this is you know, Koreatown, and this is Compton, and up here we have Hollywood, you know, the mountains, and it's just a cush life up here. But I was somewhere in between, and I needed to get out to the beach. So I passed Koreatown, where everybody was really, really unhappy, and then you get into Latino Town, which is another four blocks until I get to the highway. So you get over to, to Latino Town, and it's just good-looking ladies on the streets, selling food, music, and every street corner that you can think of. All kinds of music, somebody's dancing, and here I am in my car, you know, Swedish, and I'm like, Fanerita, <laughs> you know, shit. <laughs> and all, all I knew in Spanish at the time, because I'm fluent now, but at the time I was like, hola chica, you know, and I'm, again, bald, blue-eyed, gringo, Que paso, eh, maldito, you know, what, what, you crazy person, you know, what are you looking at? And I'm like, yeah, I know, yeah, you know, <laughs> and I'm driving, you know, holy shit, that's so nice, and the smells were amazing, you know, because from one block there was no smell, and the next block there was just food, and women, and dancing, it was just weird. You get out to the freeway, and listen, this is 10 miles from my house, exactly, I measured it, 10 miles is... 16 kilometers. It took me an hour and a half to get to work. An hour and a half to get to work. And, <laughs> well, that was kind of a, especially my luck too, you know. I couldn't, because I saw on the other way, it was just flying. <laughs> I was like, why am I not working on that side? You know, this side is so much faster. But it wasn't that. So I'm going this way, and now every 10 minutes, you may I move like 50 meters. But it was kind of interesting because you see people shave, you see people change their clothes, you see people read a magazine, you see people read even a book. A book, I mean a magazine you can skim through, but a book. And I even had a guy, that was the weirdest thing of his, he's a freaking off. And I'm like, oh, and I had a Jeep, you know, I was this high, and I'm like, what the fuck? I like, and then he looked at me, and I'm like, Really? Well, is it me you're doing this to, or somebody else? I, I hope it's some girl you saw out there, because I'm just shocked you're doing this, you know? It was the weirdest thing, just getting to the, <laughs> to the job. 